Um, thanks to everybody for coming. Thank you, Margarita. It's really great to get to read here. Uh, this is amazing. I haven't been to any of the readings that have been actually here at the store yet, so I kind of want to grab Children of Doom and read that um, too. That wouldn't quite work. But, uh, well, um, I feel like I'm supposed to say something about the book. The book's terrific. You should get it if you don't have it. And um, if, you do. if you don't know that that's a good idea, oh hell, it's a nice book. We worked on it. We worked on the other one too, the bigger one. So this one was a little easier, but we had to think about things in a different way. That's it. And Andy and I had to write, this is it. Oh yeah, and it's got this nice kind of banana and purple cover. And there's Dad. And he looks very serious. And um, the, the cover grows on you. <laughs> and, uh, no, it's a nice cover. They did a great job at the University of California. But it's funny to think about that because Dad always picked on California in his poems. <laughs> and um, and, then, and Eddie and I had to write the introduction. We were instructed to write the induction, introduction because everybody thought it would be very interesting if we wrote it. Even though he wrote almost all the poems when we were before we were even part of it. <laughs> 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 we, wrote some after we, we wrote a nice little part at the beginning of the introduction about his ashtray. And then we looked at each other and said, oh shit, wait, how do we write about everything else? And by the way, Eddie writes short sentences and I write long ones. How are we going to do that? So it's a nice uh, synthesis. <laughs> it's good. You'll like it. And if you see little um, squares in the middle of it, you should think of them as asterisks. And that's a private joke, and you can ask me about it later. But I'm going to read from the long poem, Tamarine Life, uh, from the beginning of it. And um, we'll see how this goes. Tamarine Life for Anne Kepler. One, fuck communism. It's red, white, and blue in the bathroom. Toolies, one dollar, you mother. Make all your friends. Stop. Now there's an idea. Art Forum, 7231 half North Cienega Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. Back to the wall. It's all in California, thanks to Jack. I mean, it's all right here. It's morning, and I'm looking over the wall at Mr. Pierre Loti and his nameless dog. They work well together on paper, i.e. this here. Chasing a tiger across white expansiveness that is not lacking in significance. What is the Russian Revolution? circa 1967. Two, the apples are red again in Chandler's Valley, redder for what happened there, never did know what it was, never did care. The end, on a pillow, naturally, a doormat, lust, steam, a hiss, guilty. I see some handwriting on the wall of the Williamsburg Bridge intersection. New York Post, 10 cents. Tip the newsboy over a million laughs. That's the party line. Yes, he's working on the paper. Mr. Horatio Alger. He has a lovely talent. Thank you. Here's your change. Three, I'm touched. Here, take this penny. There is no need for the past. The sun is out. It's night. I mean, it is night. And I love you better since this seizure of my eyeballs. Take off those bug panties. Go ahead. It's a big world. The big guys do it to Annie, between Ulaga and Pawnee, Guillaume Apollinaire. Four. The bodies of my days open up in the garden of my memory, America. I have had the courage to look backward. It was like polio. I shot my mouth off. 
I need money. That money, that at least at last, means less than a band-aid or a toadstool. Ouch. That band-aid has an ouch in it. Who notices a toadstool in the street? Everyone who has on a band-aid. That toadstool has a band-aid on it. Five, to bread to bury. <coughs> he doesn't know how to take a vacation. Dick doesn't know how to take a vacation either. That is not to infer that Dick is a toad under his band-aid. Far from it. A toad is a cold-blooded fellow. Dick is warm and full of blood. When you leave, Dick, turn the refrigerator to vacation, please. Six. Now I'm going to read three serial poems. Corn flakes. Oatmeal. Rye crisp. Thank you. They were composed, excuse me, I mean not composed, using the John Cage animal cracker method of composition. This seems to be mushrooming into a major work of high seriousness. I'd fight for that. I didn't have to. Seven. True love. There is only one way to describe true love. Does anyone know that one way? <laughs> Mr. Nelson Algren, 1958, West Evergreen, Chicago, Illinois. In Chicago, Illinois, you are really at home, whether you like it or not, baby. And whether you like it or not, you are my friend. So don't piece me off. Hey, come into my house tonight, Dick. And I will show you this new work, House at Night. It and this page, they are not here, are not the same, except in a manner of speaking. It is not a portrait of Jean-Marie, though it could be. It is also not a portrait of Barbara Harris, whom I don't know, though I like her plenty. She's a lot like me. My own name is Mr. Brigadoon. Nine, I am constantly being caught up in my own commotion. It is now a slow commotion. The radio is turning me on. Ten, commotion over. Clothes in hand I await in Mr. Ron Paget's fur-lined bridge jacket, who shivers now in Cambridge, Massachusetts, between Galveston and Mobile, a word incidentally invented, cross that out, coined by Mr. Marcel Duchamp to describe the ladyfinger. Eleven. It's too cold in here, but not for me, in my present balloon state, to write this love song. Cold, rosy dawn in New York City, hovering over the radio. Da dum. Twelve. I woke up this morning. It was night. You were on my mind. Lady Bread looking for a home for the bull weevil. Nothing like that in New York City. It's all in Oklahoma, where you all can learn to talk like me if you all is Mr. Ron Paget, the American Express. 13. He's a good friend of mine, although he fears he is unable to love people who have politess, whatever that may be. Thanks anyway, Frank. You're not without Con Rio Nescafe? <laughs> Thanks, Ed. 14. I quote from the Code of the West, a work by Mr. Ed Sanders, whose poem from jail I highly recommend. On second thought, I quote instead this work by Mr. Marcel Duchamp, <laughs> which, oddly enough, I also give high recommendation. 15. The Code of the West. 1. Sob when you read Black Beauty. No. <laughs> Two, the true test of a man is a bunt. Three, dare to do your duty. Four, press the tip of the tongue on the gums behind the upper teeth as for tea and expel the breath with vibrations of the vocal cords. Five, 
He went to the windows of those who slept, and over each pane like a fairy wept. Six. Halt. Seven. Loosen your snood. Eight. Close your eyes and doze. Nine. Jove, Jove, this shepherd's passion is much upon my fashion. Ten. Drill. Sixteen. You know, once people paid no attention to me. Mayakovsky. In the garden of my memory. And now, passion's flower. Wilts constantly because my lady love is a holy roller. Her body is a sponge. It has no mud. Tonight's heat will dry that mud and it will fall in the dust. I'm ready for it. The body, I mean, not the dust. However, if you are in the dust, kindly hop into this tub of black water, please. Now hand me that quail. Lean me against the belly of a woman. You are that woman. <laughs> 17. Knock on the door of her house. Knock, knock. The sun is out, river flowing in a window, a geranium trembling automobile droning across the screen. Turn back to look. You don't see the door open. You were standing there. I mean, I am sitting here between the door to a world full of others like yourselves and the droning solitude of this here Los Angeles freeway. How to get off? 18. Hi, bears. Do you believe in magic? Good. Because I am here to make a monkey out of you. The best way to make yourself a monkey is to jump down spin around, pick a bale of cotton. If you don't understand that, you will never understand your country's history. 1,000 volumes a year ooze from the minds of dead monkeys, and yet we are still too dull to understand them or that. Kiss me. It is not at all unpleasant to be kissed by a monkey, if you are a monkey. I am not a monkey. I do not have a monkey on my back. I am not a monkey's uncle. Turn page. 19. Only a monkey would read this. The Encyclopedia of Flies. Over 250 flies photographed in living color. These 250 flies were tied up, executed by hand, not my hand. The Little Sisters. 20. There are no flies on me, New York City. Oh. 21. There are, however, two sorts of landscapes here, the interior and the exterior, as well as the other, which we will not go into here. 22. One song I have always liked is, Hope You Happy Monkey, That's the Truth, by Ruth Krauss. 23. There you are. There I go. Past the majestic men's clothes slightly disheveled is a nice phrase. It has impact, like the three pricks Alice gave Joe Gould in 1933. Mother. That's Alice's idea of Wonderland. That's it.